previously I did a thorough video on the Native Instruments Complete Audio 6, going through everything from, from unboxing to setting up, running it, everything. Whenever we would try to change something like our buffer or yeah, even the sample rate, we'd pretty much have to shut down Pro Tools or at least shut down our session. And that was awful. Well, there's good news here, okay? We are in, right now we're in Pro Tools uh, 2018.1, so the current version as of now. This actually happened a few versions back in Pro Tools 12.7 or 8 or so. Now we can actually change the buffer without having to shut down Pro Tools. So this is great if you are a complete Audio 6 user. So set up, playback engine. We come here to hardware buffer. We can't actually change it from here. We have to open the control application for our complete Audio 6. So there's a couple ways to do that. If you want to stay complete within Pro Tools, set up, hardware, complete Audio 6 is our interface, launch the setup app, and there it is. I don't want to do it this way because I actually want to keep a window open. But that's exactly the same thing. Uh, that you can do. So let's go down here to start, just because I want to show something here. Uh, you can go to in, if you don't know where it is, Native Instruments, and then you'll find it right in here. But I have it pinned right here, so we'll just open this up. Right there it is. And let's go back to setup here, just so you can see this change in real time, and that we don't have to shut down anything at all. Okay, so of course we can't change it here within Pro Tools, which is fine. You'll find that with a lot of third-party interfaces. Uh, by third-party, I mean non-AVID uh, interfaces. Within the control panel here, we just see the process buffer, Click R, down arrow. Now Pro Tools historically doesn't work well with 48, 96, 192, and some other sample rates. Uh, so just be careful what you're choosing. But it will work fine with 256, 512, 1024. Uh, should work well with 32, so it, it kind of depends, and, and 64 as well. Let's choose 256. Choose that. Look over here. It changed 256. Now again, we can't change it over here. We have to change it from within the uh, app there, but it's just that easy. All you need to do now is change your buffer, and guess what? It will actually change without you having to shut down Pro Tools and restart it, which is great. When we're done with this, we can close it. Don't have to have that open. You actually don't have to have this open here. Yeah, you just need the uh, driver control app, but there you go. So now we don't have to shut down Pro Tools, a great improvement here in uh, Pro Tools. And again, we're using Pro Tools 2018 here, but this also will work in 12.8.3 if you're still on that version. Now, the next thing is we are on a go to hardware here. If we launch the setup app again, you can see we're at 48K. Now that was another problem that we had. This is a 48K session. Anytime we wanted to switch to a 44.1, 96, again, had to shut down Pro Tools. Guess what, no more. Let's go to file. I'll just open recent. I have a 44.1K session I've already created. You can of course go to uh, create new and create a new one and set it to uh, 44.1, but we'll go back to recent, 44.1K, since I already have it. Open this up, we'll just save this current session, I guess. And there we go, it opened right up, it changed the sample rate, we did not have to close down Pro Tools, everything worked uh, just, uh, just fine there. Go to hardware, we can open this up, you can see that it changed it to 44.1. And again, we can always change the buffer to whatever you want, maybe I want it on 1024, not a problem. Close that down, and just to make sure that it did change, playback engine, and there it is, 1024. Okay. So two great improvements for third party interfaces, especially the Native Instruments Complete Audio 6 here on Windows. Whenever you are using Pro Tools, it was always a pain to have to shut down Pro Tools and restart it at the sample rate and the buffer that you wanted. Now you can just change it just like any other audio interface. That's the Native Instruments Complete Audio 6 being used here in Avid Pro Tools. Mm -hmm.